If you think a lot about food and your weight, listen to my response to this comment. Okay, so this comment was made about a, a video I did a couple days ago, and this comment got so many replies and so much engagement because this happens to so many of us where instead of having a healthy, happy relationship with food and eating, we don't. We, we perseverate about our weight and food, and we, it's a stress fest. And I know you don't know this. I know in the moment you're in, you don't get this, but believe me, I was exactly where you are, exactly where you are. For you, you six to 37, for me, it was 15 years old, 14 years old to 40. That was my diet um, horizon, 25, 26 years. For you, it's a little more than that. And, but you've done one really good thing already. And you, you've, you've taken stock of that. And you've, you've said, yeah, I've done this every day for 31 years and, and I'm hoping that means you realize something's wrong. Something's wrong. And finally, when I turned 40, I realized, okay, this isn't working. Something's really wrong. This formula I have used for years has not gotten me the result that I want. What was the result that I wanted? To get and stay at my happy weight and be happy. I love food and eating. And there, the, the little choice that I thought was there, the, the salvation, so to speak, from this diet mentality that I thought was there, was that I just needed to find the right diet. And you know, us dieters, we're so optimistic. We're like that punching bag that keeps getting back up, like, oh, boom, lost weight, gained it back, pop back up, try it again. Okay, so there comes a time when it really becomes insanity to think that's gonna work. And I was there, and again, I understand how hard this is. It took me 25 years, almost 26 years, to come to the realization, so I get it. But what I want to scream with a megaphone to each and every one of you watching this is it doesn't have to be that way. And it's ironic, the solution is ironic, because you know, lots of us who are good dieters or, or even you know, dieted at all and ever lost any weight, we're maybe a little bit, um, you know, we try to be competent, we try to get things done and all that, but the way to release yourself from this diet mentality is to stop bullying ourselves and to let our beautiful bodies lead us. And we've been trained to believe that we do not have the tools we need innately to know what, when, and how much to eat, but we do. Of course we do, just like the silly little animal does, like all animals do. And yeah, okay, a domesticated dog is a little different, but in general, Animals know what, when, and how much to eat. They know, how do they know what to eat? What, are they reading a book? No, it's their instinct, and we have that too. So even in the video I did a couple, a day or two ago about like saying, I crave something sweet, and you know, I don't know, you know, I don't know why, and, and someone said, well, maybe it's because, you know, you, you know, something was wrong, I was doing something wrong. No, doing nothing wrong, doing absolutely nothing wrong. It is totally beautiful for my body to crave something sweet, for me to eat it and to be a fabulous thing and not to make me go, okay, why am I craving something sweet? We need to just pull back and go, okay, this is smart. This is smart. And we are trained to ignore it. And it is such a shame. And, we, and I can't lead you to my intuitive eating. I can only show you how you let yourself because all of our, our we're, we're unique so my my cravings my hunger everything is going to be specific to me but don't fear because all yours is going to be specific to you you just have to you have to be quiet and listen and it's so scary to be quiet and listen you know it's so scary like oh well i won't know what to put in my fridge what am i going to do when i go to the grocery store how am i going to eat at work and i know i feel and, and I feel these questions from you guys all the time, and it's always the same answer. It's first, stay calm, stay calm, and realize that when you match eating with hunger and non-eating with non-hunger, okay, when you balance that, everything else gets easy. And like the difficulties of having a family dinner, let's say at a time when you're not hungry, but you've got little kids or whatever, so, you, and we think, oh God, it's so hard to sit there, my kids are eating and I won't eat, I know. I know I thought that too. It's not. I, and you, this is where I lose people. Oh, I could never be that person. I know. I didn't think so either. But when you get you, when your body isn't freaked out by your weird diet behavior anymore, because you are, you know, eating with hunger and not eating when you're not hungry, all of a sudden, sitting down, literally, my friends, sitting at a restaurant, everyone's eating and you're not, is no big deal. It's no big deal. And I know, I know you don't believe me. 
But the reason that we have such a hard time with it is because it's like, you know, like when COVID hit the pandemic and um, grocery stores were short of whatever, what do we do? We run out and we grab it all and we bring it all home and we hoard it. That's what we do. So we set up this hoarding mentality by the deprivation. And the bottom line is, is if you want to get and stay at your happy weight, and I have to say, my take on intuitive eating allows for that because I think it's important. And please don't tell me that's not intuitive eating. Yes, it is. Intuitive eating is about eating with hunger and not eating when you're not hungry. And what happens when you become an intuitive eater and you get rid of the deprivation mindset that your diet mentality brews and all the negative things about you that your diet mentality brews, when all that goes away, all of a sudden there's peace and calmness. And all of a sudden you eat lunch in your car and it is no big deal to leave some behind. I had this, uh, this is nasty looking now, but I'm gonna take it home, by the way. No, I'm not wasting it. Um, it's a, it, was a half, it was a bagel with tuna fish on it from Mark's Bagels in Cincinnati, yay. And it's, it was delicious, but since my hunger's gone, zero power, zero, zero desire for that. I know, again, I know you don't believe me. I didn't believe it either. But I, I was desperate enough, like you seem sad about it. I was super sad. I'm like, I'm 40 years old. I've got three beautiful children. I have a good life. And what the hell? What's wrong with me? That this whole food thing, how much do I weigh? Is, is screwing up my beautiful life. And thank God, that was year 2000. I said, no more. And I want you to get to there. You're 37. Stop. Stop right now. Because let me tell you, if you don't, you will live this way for the rest of your life. I, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but that's what that video that I did about my poor mother-in-law was about. It's like, and if you don't make that step to say, I'm gonna give myself some time to heal from my diet brain and to let the beauty of how I was born, born not to overeat. We were not born to want to, 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 want to overeat. I, I really implore you to believe me. I thought that I would always want to eat, that if cake walked in the room, I would want to eat the cake. Cake can walk in the room if I'm hungry and that's what I'm craving, I will eat it. But if not, it, it's not willpower. It's just weird to eat when you're not hungry. I'm, it's just, it starts feeling weird. Like, and you'll notice things like you'll put food in your mouth and, and in our, we have a little course online. If anyone can't afford it, email me, meg at dietsorefattening.com because I will help you. But little things like you notice, okay, the first bite is the best. And let's say you eat something and you're not hungry, but you're like, okay, I really can't resist this. I'm gonna eat. Notice how it feels in your mouth without hunger. It's not as good, not nearly as good. Almost weird. Like now, if like every once in a while, I have to take a bite of something, so I'm gonna really, oh, please. You know, like you don't wanna be rude because we don't need to be rude and, and righteous about this. But oh yeah, and you're eating. It's like, it feels weird. When I was a dieter, that never would happen. I'd be like, oh yeah, yeah, give me. So as sad as I am, you know, when I read your comment it, and then I see all the comments in response to your comment, I'm like, yeah, that's what I'm, that's why I'm doing these videos. That's why I'm here for people like you. I want to hold your hand and pull you through this door into the beautiful, calm land of intuitive eating where you eat less, but you're not, it's not hard. It's not unhappy. It, and look at other comments. I should do a better job of highlighting the comments and people back this up, but you know, I, I I should do a better job on that because I know that would help, so I'll try. But go through videos and, and there are people writing, yeah, I did this and like I've lost 20 pounds. And, and don't come at me for this, say, oh, all she cares about is weight loss. That is not true. I care about a healthy lifestyle, beautiful food, happy, happy eating, happy being able to eat anything from any food group and feel okay about that. And calmly getting to a weight that makes you feel good. It's about feeling, it's about how you feel. And everyone's going to feel different about it, different sizes. Fine. Be you. But if you're not you, no one else can do that for you. No one else can listen to your body. I can't listen to your body. Only you can. I'm just showing you how I listen to mine, hoping that you can feel that energy and that you can listen to your body. And you can say in a year, it takes a while. I'm not going to lie. It takes a while to adjust to this new mindset that you'll go, oh my God, that was so miserable. I dieted for so long. It was so unnecessary. I'm so much happier now. Because if, if your food and eating is messed up, it's a big deal. It hurts you and it hurts your life, right? So yeah. join me, join me.